What's good, YouTube? Danos with another video, aka Danos Rodman, bro. You feel me? I changed my game to take a game, bro. It was free this time, though, so I, why not? But this video, I'm gonna give y'all the two best jump shots for 6'10 and above. Right now, I have a 76. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all my three ball. 78 three ball. I just upgraded 70. I've been shooting with a 76. And let me just show y'all what I shoot from three. I used to shoot way better, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've been lagging lately, so my stats kind of fucked up. So I, I was shooting around like 63 ish, 65 to 63, but now I'm down to 51.7. I know, bro, but I be shooting on, in my defense, I be shooting on hella different heights, bro. So sometimes it takes me a couple shots to adjust. But first jump shot, Poop, my sister. So, if she ever watched the video, once again, I shouted you out. But, O'Shea Brissett, same, are you same, that's the, that's the base for both of these jump shots. O'Shea Brissett base. Release, Tim Duncan is the equivalent to Oscar Robinson. For any, for like, 6'9 and under. It's like Oscar Robinson, like, it's the most, like, consistent release you can have. And I have DeAndre Ayton. The reason why I have DeAndre Ayton, because uh, it's really high. So, like, let's say I'm just now switching. Like, I'm fresh on the game, bro. I ain't played guard or nothing. Like, my first time hop on the game. Easy as fuck to release. Really high release point, bro. It's hella easy to green. So, I'm going to go into Pro-Am. Show y'all a couple shots. Just show y'all how it look in real motion. Just so y'all don't think I'm just bullshitting y'all. Like, how it really look. <laughs> Hopefully, it don't take me forever to load in, bro. Because I don't know why. But it be taking me forever and a fucking million years to load. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's probably the fast I done got in here, to be honest with you, bro. So, yeah, a couple shots, yeah, you know, something from the wing. I don't know if shoot from the top of the key. I do sometimes, but, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a couple shots. So I'm saying? It's right here. Chicken man. Come on, man. Hey, chicken man. First shot of the day. Come on. That's a good range. I ain't gonna make that shit anyway. Chicken man. Come on, like, chicken man. Y'all see this jump shot? I'm gonna show y'all one in the corner. Cause a lot of y'all big shooting the corner anyway. So, show y'all the corner shot. Chicken man. Y'all see this chicken? Really good release. The next, the next jump shot, I'm gonna show y'all is the jump shot I use if I come, like, let's say, like, I don't play on my 6'3 or my 6'8 or something. And I come and switch on to my 7 uh, 1. I use this jump because it's a little bit faster and it has a lot lower release point. So it's easier to like resemble a guard light jump shot. So you can see the release on this one, it's a lot lower. It's a little bit faster. The release height on the other one, I think it was an A. This is the A minus. So it's a little bit lower of a release. So it's going to be a little bit faster by default. So this one, as you see, let me go ahead. I ain't even break it down for y'all. Giannis Antetokounmpo has a really good release, really low release, um, hits about right on the side of the head almost, and kind of goes upward. The other one, like, you like get all the way to the top of the release, this has more of like a release it when the wrist band type of thing. I like jump shots like this on my guards, all my guards, uh, the jump shot, I look at the wrist. So this is the best jump shot for me when I switch from 6'3 to 7'1", you know what I'm saying? Give y'all a couple shots with this one just to show y'all what it look like. It might not be that much of a difference, but um, if you accustomed to a, a jump shot, you don't use it for hella long, and you do something as small as maybe change how the um release height is, bro, it makes a big difference. Like, you go from shooting straight green to shooting so many slightly, bro. So, I'm gonna show y'all this one. See, uh, see what I'm saying? Slightly late. I just I was used to shooting on the other one, just shot it slightly late. Chicken man, you know what I'm saying? So I'm saying it's a little bit faster. So if the other one's a little bit too slow for y'all. I would say this one might be the one for you. So for me, I'm used to the other one, so I take a little minute to adjust to it. This is one of the ones like if I came from a six three, perfect. But chicken man, though, still chicken no matter what. And. Chicken man, come on, like come on, my nigga, like come on. 
Oh, so let's get up out of here. So and those two jump shots for y'all, I would say if you if you if you like 81 and above, use um Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch has a better base than O'Shea Brissett for big man, but I only got a 78, so I can't I can't do much. And these are these are the badges I shoot with. Like I just use Claymore, Green Machine, and Clutch Shoot. That's all I use. I don't got no corner specialist, I don't got none of this shit. I just use this. So hopefully this video helped y'all out. If it did. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all showing mad love in my past couple of videos. I didn't gain the most subscribers in probably a 24 hour span. You know what I'm saying? In the 24 hour span now that I have probably in a, all month, in a, in a month span before that. So I appreciate y'all for showing love. 50 subscribers is a goal by the time I go back to school in January. So hopefully we can get it done. I'm going to keep on dropping videos for y'all. Keep on dropping content for y'all. So, I'm going to do my part. And I just pray y'all do y'all part. So, like, comment, subscribe. Five likes is the goal for this video. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.